Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy here with One Road. Today we are going to perform a full power steering system fluid flush. <laughs> While a power steering system fluid flush may sound a little daunting, it really isn't. There's just a few parts you're gonna need and I'll show you what they are right now. The first thing you're gonna need is some tubing to attach from your return line down to your drain pan. My truck in particular uses 3 8 You also may need a splicer. In my case, I chose a 3 8 inner diameter splicer to go from my return line to my new tubing and then down into the bucket. To connect all that stuff together, I'm gonna to be using these hose clamps. And of course, we're gonna need a drain bucket. And last but not least, your choice of power steering fluid. I chose this fluid by LubeGuard because it is fully synthetic power steering fluid. And it says for service use in European, North American, and Asian vehicles. Make sure you get the power steering fluid that is recommended by your vehicle's manufacturer. You may also wanna put your vehicle up on jack stands as I've done. What this does is gets your tires off of the ground so we can attempt to pump out the old power steering fluid just by turning the steering wheel without having the motor running. Okay guys, so there's two ways of doing this. Number one is with the motor off. A little less stressful, being that you don't have to worry about running the power steering pump with no fluid in it. In that case, what you're gonna do is disconnect the line, feed it down into your drain pan, and then you're gonna crank the steering wheel back and forth while adding new power steering fluid, trying to pump manually the fluid out of the power steering pump and into your drain pan. The second way is by cranking the motor on for just a few seconds at a time, adding power steering fluid Fluid and watching that stuff run through the hose until it becomes new and fresh. That method does work very good, but the only downside is you might want to have two people because you don't want to have that pump running with no power steering fluid in it. So what I'm going to do is attempt option number one with the motor not running. If that doesn't work, then I'll move to option number two. Okay, so there's a hose clamp dead center of the screen there, and that is the return line for the power steering pump. That is the hose clamp we are going to remove, and that black rubber hose is the hose we are going to attach our new drain hose to. Okay, so taking the return line off initially is gonna be probably the hardest part of this whole job. It's really tight in there. You gotta use a pair of pliers. You're gonna make a little bit of a mess with the power steering fluid. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to film this, but I'm gonna try. Hopefully you can see this clamp right here. This is your power steering return line. I can barely see it myself, but if you can get a pair of pliers on that clamp. Okay, well you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing off of there with two hands and uh, where I can see a little bit better, not trying to film at the same time and I'll show you the result. Okay, so you can see the hose clamp is pulled back and the hose is actually starting to come off. So that's exactly what we want. We wanna get ready a plug for the hard line, and we also want to plug the soft line with our thumb and get that all ready to go too. Here you can see my connection that I created with that end of the 3 8 hose, a hose clamp, and the 3 8 splicer that I put in there. This open end is going to go into that soft return line that you were just looking at. Here you can see the return line. I pushed that brass fitting into the return line just like I was saying, and and this is where all of our fluid is gonna be pumped out of along this entire hose and into our drain bucket. And hopefully you can make out that plug that I created. I just folded over a piece of that uh, clear line on itself and pushed it over the hard line that the 3 8 return line came off of. Okay, so now comes the easy part. I'm going to turn the steering wheel from lock to lock in an attempt to manually pump this old power steering fluid out this line and into the drain pan. At the same time the old power steering fluid is being pumped out, I'm also gonna be pouring in new power steering fluid just to keep that reservoir topped off. Okay, so we're cranking the wheel from lock to lock. And you can see that old crusty power steering fluid going all the way down this line and right into our catch pan, exactly what we were hoping. All right, awesome guys, this is working out great. The next step is gonna be to take our new power steering fluid and top off that reservoir so we don't let it run dry and also so we can start seeing that clear fluid coming through knowing that we've completed the flush process. Okay, so we got our big funnel on there. We're gonna start pouring some new power steering fluid 
Not too much, because this funnel obviously holds a lot more than we need. And if you put too much in, it'll actually start overflowing down there where the funnel meets the reservoir. All right, so we're gonna crank the wheel the other way to try to keep this pump going. Do it again. And we'll keep checking. Okay, so our tube is still full, completely full. And you can see the bucket is actually filling up, which is a good thing. We are going to add some more power steering fluid. And repeat the process. Lock. To lock. Add more. All right. Well, look at this line now. This is pure, clean, fresh power steering fluid. We never had to start the vehicle and you can see it running all the way down the line till it gets to about down here. This looks good to me. I started with two quarts of this lube guard and it looks like I still have about a half a quart and that's great so that I can top off the system as I get the air bubbles out. You can see this specialty tool that I have. I picked this up from Harbor Freight and this is a hose clamp uh, kind of vice grip sort of tool and I'm using it for just that. I'm clamping off this hose so that when I do remove this plug from this 3 8 return line, all of this fluid in this clear line isn't gonna come dumping out into the engine compartment. It'll actually be capped off and be held uh, right inside of the hose. Then I'll simply take this 3 8 line and reattach everything the way it was. And then we'll just simply top off our reservoir. At this point, everything is buttoned up down there and I did top off the reservoir. And all I'm gonna do is crank the wheel from lock to lock again to try to relieve any air bubbles that are in the system. Now when doing this, you should be able to hear some bubbling going on out of that reservoir. If it's quiet, of course. Just heard some bubbles. With this method, there shouldn't be very many bubbles because we didn't really introduce a whole lot of air into the system. By starting the vehicle, that pump is pumping faster than you can refill it, and it will suck a lot of air and put air in the whole system. So if you can do it by not starting and just by cranking the wheel like this, I think you'll be much better off. At this point, the job is done. I've topped off the reservoir. I've made sure there's no air bubbles by cranking the steering wheel from lock to lock multiple times. The only thing left to do is to start it. So let's do that. Okay, so let's take our key and start it. Sounds good. No issues, no sounds. And let's crank the wheel from lock to lock, just to make sure. Well, thankfully, that went exactly as expected. I did not have to start the engine. That made me feel a lot better, and I was able to get the entire system flushed out with new synthetic fluid. That old fluid was nasty, and that new fluid was purdy. I'll put links down in the description below this video for some of the products that I used. Also, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I also do have an Instagram at One Road Garage and a website at oneroadgarage.com. Anyways, guys, I'm Jimmy with One Road here on YouTube, signing out. Peace.